I've been wanting to do a YouTube and write a book forever. And I'm always having all these different thoughts. And it's like I fight myself to put those thoughts out there, to share those thoughts, to be who it is I'm called to be. So the other day I had a thought that I wrote down that I wanted to make as a YouTube video. And that was um, the Big Ten. What are 10 things that I know that, that have gotten me to where I am that will propel me to, to my best self? And I'm going to write them down now. So, so far, I've written things that are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. The next thing I would say is what's for me is for me. I say that every day. Everybody I talk to. Anything that's going on, any situation, what's for you is for you. The third thing would be everything that I need is already inside of me. There's a proverb, as a man thinketh, so is he. And as it's taught in law of attraction, you get what you think about. All things are possible through God. We were put on this earth not to be recipients of every single thing that we think we should have, but to be servants, okay? So the next thing, number six, would be how may I serve? How may, how may I serve today? We, another thing that I always say is give each day your best. In every situation, always ask, did I give that my best? Every day, did I give that my best? Did I do my best? The other one I would say is self-discipline beats self-destruction. It's human nature to go against what's good for you. It's easy to do the wrong thing. It's easy to go against what is good for you what's best for you what you should be doing okay so when you find yourself going against what you know you ought to be doing what you know would be best for you what you know would be good for you you're operating in self-destruction so you know the cure for that is self-discipline say no i'm not going to do this thing no i'm not going to eat this thing no i'm not going to go to this place no i'm not going to speak these words the next thing, which would be uh, number nine, and, and this is, is a saying that was said to me in one of the lowest points in my life, and that was, at the end of yourself, you will find God. At the end of yourself, you will find God, meaning that once you surrender all and you say, you know what? Everything that I think I am, I know that God is greater. I know his plans are greater. I know his, having the mindset of God is greater. Having the unconditional love that God gives out is greater. At the end of myself, meaning I'm going to subside in all of my desires, all of what I think that I am, all of my plans, and surrender fully to God. That's when you truly learn and experience the, the ability that God has to perform, overperform, outperform, pour out a window, open up a window of blessings, pour out more than you can receive. And number 10, let all things you do be done in love. All things you do, let them be done in love. And there was a saying at Savannah State that I love that I'm going to add is number 11, just to add, you can go anywhere from here. Every day is a new beginning. Every moment is a new beginning. If things are not where you want them to be, if they're not how you want them to be, guess what? You can still go forward from here. You can still go forward from here. You can still go forward from here. You can go anywhere from here. There's this saying that I like to say, Better up than down. There's more room in the sky than in the ground. Always look up.